Wow, that was pretty intense. Almost as intense as Trump and Clinton. Wait, hold the phone, Marissa. Hold the phone because his mom just called. Well, I'm trying to be him. Is that? Let, let me try that again. Hold the phone. Do you really think that he's gonna? Not quite yet, is it? How, how do we? Y'all ain't got this right. And that's why we have to drain the swamp. Oh. We have to drain the swamp. <laughs> Look who's here, Alice. How you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Nice to see you. This big reveal right there. Okay. How do you pull this off with your brother? Are, are these your real personalities that we see? I, I think we are. Uh, as you know, I'm the um, executive director of the North Carolina Republican Party, and um, we've had a pretty good year and helped Trump win North Carolina and helped hold our Senate seat in North Carolina. And, um, and my brother is a big muckety-muck up in um, Washington for the Democrats, but of course, I guess he'll stay in town. Most of them are getting run out here this this week and next week. Okay, so we try to have these engaging arguments, Marissa and me, and ma maybe you can help us out to, to make it make it seem like that. And maybe we do what Alabama versus Clemson. Yeah, I'm not that feisty. I don't I don't I don't get the anger. Well, help her along yeah. here. Well, you? well, I, I I think the Tigers will win because elephants are slower. But to elephants are also smarter, and in, it may not be smart to be slow on the football field, but it's good to be slow in politics and life. Take it slow, take it easy, take it conservative, and know where you're going. But that's, people say there's too much theater in politics, that it's too much of a show. And you well, you know, they, 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 they debates. Well, let's go back to real issues and so much of the theatrics. Well, remember, they, they, they say, remember what they say, that... Uh, Politics is Hollywood for ugly people, so I mean, so that's why there's a lot of theater in it. Uh, but I think politics is is simply the way we organize our lives, and it is a reflection of who we are and what we do, and we ought to have fun with it. Um, and but then we have to discuss serious issues too. And uh, these folks, they discussed some serious issues, and apparently the Russians got me. The Russians got me, but. Um, but, you know, the country came to a decision on that, and I hope everybody's hopeful that we can, uh, we can have a good administration coming forward. I know I am. And, and we've never seen quite a personality like Donald Trump. No. We, is that the Donald Trump that is, that is actually him, the guy that we see up on the stand? You know, I guess that's something we're going to find out. You know, I've met him a few times. Um, he... You know, he, you don't have the kind of success he has and not have an ability to delegate and hire good people and, 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 and think. Make your best case for the Democrats. If they hired you to brand their message in their best possible terms, they lost the message war in the election. What should it have been? I, I, I think that the problem they had is that you have to acknowledge the problems that have been created over the last few years, that the economy is slow to recover and that the health care, um, Obamacare has not done people well. So I think what you'd have had to do is come out and acknowledge, look, we know this isn't uh, a, a program that makes everybody happy. We know that, but at least we're trying to do something. We're trying to make it right for people. We need to keep working on it. Um, I, I think if you were to emphasize that everybody needs a, a hand up, not a hand out. Um, but I, I think that they, they got into picking, you know, seeming to pick either urbanites over rural people or one race over the other or men over women or women over men. They got, you know, you have to have an overarching message. It's one reason that, I mean, think about hope and change. It meant a lot of different things to a lot of people. So does make America great again. I mean, to me it makes, it means helping America and its people rise to their potential. You know, b become the leader in the world again when it comes to foreign affairs and domestic affairs. Um, uh, they, they didn't have that. The other thing is, they had a fundamentally bad candidate. Well, there you have it. Dallas from Raleigh here in Tampa. We'll gavel it down. Clemson. There'll be a party <laughs> on January 20th. I there guess. will be. I will be up there for the ball, and I will uh, be dancing, and we will be thinking about you guys down here in Tampa. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Just make Tampa great again. <laughs>